Ladies and gentlemen, as you guys know, tomorrow we are getting the 1.16 update for Call of Duty Black Ops 4. And there's a lot changing in this update with all zombies, blackout, and multiplayer. And today, Treyarch actually hosted a live stream where they gave us all of the information as to what is coming tomorrow, what is new, what is changing. We even got as small as details as what weapons are going to be buffed and nerfed in multiplayer. So we're going to be talking about all of that today, what they talked about in the live stream, and everything in between. So they started out by simply talking about the new map, which is called Ancient Evil. It is actually what you are watching on screen here. And to be quite honest with you, I think the new map looks pretty cool. I might even go as far as to playing some of it on the live stream tomorrow, depending on everything that comes out in the video speaking of the live stream later today i will be doing a live stream around 7 7 30 p.m eastern standard time we're going to be doing a multiplayer open lobby so if you've ever wanted to play some black ops 4 with me it'll be the first link down in the description and like i said before hopefully i see you there around 7 30. Now, as you guys know, I'm not huge into zombies, so I'm not going to go into a huge amount of depth as to what they talked about in the streams, because one of the main things they talked about was the overarching zombie storyline. Um, but some things that they did mention is, first of all, there is going to be a new gauntlet on this map. They didn't say when it was coming out, so I'm not sure whether that's coming out tomorrow or they're going to wait a couple weeks to put it out, but they did mention it, so I'm not 100% sure when. Um, they also announced the new perk, Zomb Shell, and explained how that works. Essentially, sometimes when you kill zombies, zombies when using it they will explode and then they will kill some of the zombies around them there's some more intricate details around it but you can check out the full live stream i'll link it down in the description and they also mentioned a bunch of new elixirs now as far as like updates to zombies things to make it better the only thing that they really announced is that in split screen and when you're playing online there is a split screen and server pause so you can literally pause zombies in the midst of a game which is of course nice if you have to go pee or someone rings the doorbell or something like that so a nice little addition there but other than that that's pretty much the zombies update if you're a zombies guy like i said the the full link to the stream will be down in the description now after zombies the next person to come up was david vondahar now of course he is the guy that's mostly responsible for blackout so that is what he was talking about but speaking of which i thought since uh we had one david vondahar interview i would introduce you to my new friend david vondahar and he is a little bit camera shy, so he probably won't be talking too much, but also he will be there. We have a specified David cam for live streams, so if you come check out the live stream later today, he will be there, and uh, of course, you can ask him some questions. Now, as far as what the human David Vondahar said, it really wasn't as much information as I thought we were going to get today. We did get some information as to how Blackout is going to be changing, but we didn't get in any information on Alcatraz, which is suspected to be the new area being added to the map, and we didn't get any information on the night map, which everyone thought was coming out tomorrow. Now, it is possible that they do surprise us tomorrow, but I'm guessing it's not because after the live stream, Vondahar went on Twitter and said there will be much more lead up to the big change to Blackout. So I'm guessing it's going to be closer to the end of this event, which to me was kind of surprising. So if he didn't talk about that, what did he talk about? So the first thing he talked about was three new things coming to Blackout. The first is Zero's EMP grenade. The second is Sparrow's Outrider. And the third is called the Demo Hammer. We'll get to that one at the end. Now, as far as Zero's EMP grenade, basically the thought of this one is they want it to disable any sort of traps. So mesh mines, barricade anything like that but it was also going to disable vehicles so if someone's coming to run you over you throw an emp grenade and it actually completely stalls the vehicle which is i think a pretty cool thing that they are adding now the next thing that they are adding outriders sparrow so the sparrow is exactly what it is in multiplayer you can only find it out of care packages and when you get it it is going to basically do the exact same thing. You get 10 arrows to potentially kill people. Now, the thing that Vondahar said is there is a lot of drops, so you can't basically use this thing as a sniper, but I can imagine for taking out vehicles and for taking out characters who are hiding behind walls, this is going to be an incredible piece of equipment, and I can't wait to see how it plays out. And as you can see right there, the Sparrow very clearly has a lot of arc in the bow, so like I said, it's going to be very difficult to take people out at range. I am curious to see how good this thing is against helicopters though. 
Now, the other thing that they brought up in Blackout was the new melee weapon called the Demo Hammer. Now, the interesting thing about this is often when new weapons are added into the game, they are added into Blackout later. So the fact that they brought this one up in Blackout, I found a little bit weird. And on top of that, they didn't talk about it at all when it came to multiplayer. And we're going to get to that in a minute. But what you are kind of seeing on screen here is kind of what you get. It's going to act exactly the same as all the other melee weapons. You don't get any extra extra range or to get to swing faster it's still exactly the same it just looks different similar to other melee weapons like we saw in black ops 3 now some other changes that they announced to blackout is first of all the collapse damage so what they found was a lot of people at the end of the game were hiding out in a vehicle way out in the collapse using outlander medic consumer basically just to heal themselves over and over again so what they are going to be doing is the longer you stay in the collapse the more damage you will take so it will start out the same as it was before but the longer you stay there the more and more damage you will take to me this is a very welcome update as anything that pushes people out of the collapse and have to fight in the area is much better in my opinion so a really good update if you ask me the other thing they talk about is a new ltm or limited time mode uh, this one is just called ambush 2.0 we had ambush before this was basically the snipers playlist now the changes that they are making to it are no vehicles so no atv no aravs also they are getting rid of the sdm but they are adding shotguns and to me those other changes were great but adding shotguns kind of takes away from it especially with how good the mog actually is in blackout but we'll have to wait to see how it actually plays they're also adding challenges to the after action report so it incentivizes players to use challenges a little bit more so all of those are pretty good changes to blackout however no talk about the night mode no talk about alcatraz so we don't really know when it's coming and if you have any ideas Feel free to let me know what you think down in the comments. My theory was is that they were adding it tomorrow because that's when the Shamrock and Awe blackout map was supposed to come to an end. But now it doesn't appear like that. I guess we'll just have to wait to see tomorrow. Now, the final section of the live stream was all about multiplayer. And the two people that came up for this were Tony Flame and Matt Scrantz. I'm sorry if I butchered that last name, but... These two guys work very hard on multiplayer. They are the main guys of multiplayer now, not David Vondahart. And as far as what they talked about, it was actually quite a bit, but at the same time, not much. So the first thing that they talked about was league play and some changes that are being made there. After that, they talked about weapon balance, which was definitely good to see after that it was the new game modes including bare bones which don't worry we'll talk about they also told us that this week bare bones would be added and then the next game mode after that is a new party game mode that a lot of people know infected which a lot of people are looking forward to coming to the game and then the other game mode that they talked about was a new one that's never been in call of duty called team deathmatch domination which we'll cover in a little bit as well they also touched on a new map, and then finally, reactive camos. So, let's start off with League Play. So, starting off with League Play, personally, I don't love League Play, because the way that you rank up is more so based on the amount you play than your actual skill level. The way that they are changing it helps that a little bit, but overall, not much. Basically, the, all that they are changing is that they are making it so the bracket that you play in are all players around your skill level. So, if you're ranked one in the world, you're going to be playing with the top 100 players throughout that season. They are also making the seasons one week long instead of, I believe, it's three days right now. Personally, I would much prefer a system where you either ranked up or ranked down after every single game, not after every week like they are changing it to. But hey, that's just my opinion. You can let me know what you think down in the comments. They're also making it so that friendly firing off the start of a round is ricochet. In other words, it does damage to the person shooting instead of killing one of your teammates, which I think is great. Team firing is super annoying in competitive play. And they are also working on a new way of implementing specialist characters. So no longer will you earn your specialist weapon over time. There's going to be a more specific way of earning it. They didn't go in depth there, but I'm really interested to see what that is. Because maybe they will actually implement that into multiplayer and make the specialist weapons a little bit more skillful to actually get. I'm super interested to see what that is, but that's all the information we have on that as of right now. Now, Treyarch, if you're listening to this, the one thing that I would change about rank play, other than making it so you rank up after every game, not every week, is that you would actually get good items for coming in the top whatever players. Whether that be a weapon skin or a character skins and good ones at that make it so that the top players get something good in other words they have something to grind for because as of right now 
the only thing you really have to grind for is your little emblem saying that you're number one, which is cool, but I think you could do a little bit better. After that, they dove into weapon balance, and they didn't really give us specifics, but the first thing they started with was the Titan. Actually, they, they didn't talk about the Titan. They're not doing anything to it. It's not getting a nerf. Sorry to get your hopes up. Anyway, the one thing that they are doing that I do like is SMGs. SMGs around the board are getting buffed. I'm assuming that the SOG and the Spitfire are going to be left alone, but the rest of them are getting a buff, which I think is a good thing. The other thing is pistols. All of the pistols are getting a buff, which if they're buffing the Cap 45, that gun's already pretty damn good, but the other ones, I can definitely see a little buff being necessary. After this, the KN57, they said, is getting a buffed so it can be used in competitive play. In other words, the KN57 is going to be one of the best weapons in multiplayer, and I definitely recommend checking it out after tomorrow's update. Also, the ABR and weapons around the clock, every single weapon is going to have less flinch. So in other words, when you get shot, you will flinch a lot less. So pretty crazy update there. On top of that, the Paladin magazine size is getting increased to six, but you are going to have a longer reload time. So in other words, they're doing that so snipers can get bigger clips. So get a six man feed, for example, before they have to reload. After that, the SDM is getting a faster fire rate. And the last thing for a lot of people, this is a really big thing, hit detection improvements. Compared to a game like Infinite Warfare, as weird as it is to say that, the hit detection in this game isn't as good, so this might bring it a little bit closer to that, and I'm looking forward to see how good they actually make it. Moving on to game modes. So this is actually the biggest thing to me. Tomorrow they are adding in bare bones. There's going to be team deathmatch, domination, and there is going to be hardcore team deathmatch and domination. And essentially the bane of this mode is no specialist characters whatsoever. On top of that, they are restricting operator mods, so you cannot use any weapons operator mods. There is no gear, in other words, no stim shot, no body armor, no acoustic sensor, and all equipment is single use only. So as of right now, if you spawn into multiplayer and you use a grenade, it will refresh every about two minutes, and you can use it multiple times per life. In this game mode, you cannot. It's like old school Call of Duty. Now... To me, this is just what Black Ops 4 should have been. And I know it's more simplistic and not everyone likes that, but it sounds like a lot of fun. So I can't wait for tomorrow. We're definitely going to be streaming that game mode tomorrow, and I'm really looking forward to it. Now, as far as the other game modes, as we talked about, the next game mode after Bare Bones is going to be Infected. I would guess that that would one probably come out in two weeks. Um, and that's pretty self-explanatory. Infected's been in a lot of games, and it's a lot of people's favorites. So... Probably two weeks, maybe three. That's my best guess. After that, there is Deathmatch Domination. Now, there was no date as to when this one was going to come out, whether it's soon or far in advance. But essentially what this is, is Domination, where your kills count towards the final score. Kind of like the way Battlefield works, but a little bit different. So basically, the score is going to go up to 400, and it's going to be a combination of the kills you get and the points you get from the flags. Pretty simple. After that, they also announced a new map, kind of, called Arsenal Sandstorm, and it's just going to be Arsenal with a giant sandstorm going on. They said it's going to be by far the most different out of all of the maps that they've implemented so far, and basically, you're going to have a very low visibility on the map, which I think is pretty cool. And then the final thing that they announced is with reactive camos, you can now use reactive camos if you don't have gold for an individual weapon. So if you're not grinded for dark matter, you can still use reactive camos. And... That's pretty much it. That's everything that they implemented into today's live stream. The one thing that's weird that they didn't talk about is no new weapon in multiplayer. They didn't talk about the melee weapon in multiplayer. And they didn't talk about a new supply stream, which a lot of people assume since tomorrow is halfway through the Operation Grand Heist event. They're guessing that we're going to get 25 tiers of new items. But I guess for that, we'll have to wait to see because they did not mention that in today's live stream. So we'll have to wait and see. So you are now updated on what we think is coming out tomorrow. Of course, we're going to get more information tomorrow and patch notes. So, of course, when we get that, I will do a full update video tomorrow. So if you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you do so. Make sure you have notifications turned on. Also, if you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you could hit that like button. And also, down in the comments, let me know what you think about today's video. What do you think about all of the things that they're adding, changing? Let me know down in the comments. And, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time... Peace out. We are, we are real.